Hi, this is Travis from Make Digital Music Now, and welcome to a quick tutorial that will show you how, in Propellerhead Reason, to connect the Redrum drum sequencer to the Kong drum designer. So what does that mean? Well, the Kong drum designer and the Redrum drum sequencer are two virtual instruments inside of Reason. You can see here I have a Kong, and down here I have the Redrum. Each of these drum sequencers has different strengths and can be used for different purposes inside of your songs and tracks. So for example, the Kong has this nice pad here that's actually velocity sensitive, so if I tap it down here or tap it down here, it's different volumes. So that's cool, a nice click control to trigger the drums. The Kong also has this really cool synth section that controls the settings for all of the drums that it makes. So you actually synthesize your own drums. So it starts off sounding like this. I change the pitch. And you can just change the sound just like that. And like all parameters in Reason, these are completely automatable and adjustable. Meanwhile, the redrum, you can also trigger samples. And some people are just more familiar with the redrum because it's like the older synthesizer that was part of Reason. Um, and one thing that's really cool about the redrum is that it has this sequencer here, step sequencer, that I can use to program in drum hits. So see how there's 16 steps in the sequencer, which represent 16 16th notes that make up a full bar of music. See one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's really cool. So the goal of this tutorial is to connect the sequencer in the redrum, which I was just playing with, that's the sequencer down here, to the pads in the Kong so that the redrum sequencer is triggering the drum sounds in the Kong drum designer. So how do we do that? Well, first we go to the back of the rack by pressing the tab key. And here we can see that the Kong drum designer has 16 square sections here that represent each of the 16 pads. And they're marked with gate in and gate out. That's interesting. What does that mean? Well, gate in means the input to triggering the pad and gate out means the output so that when the pad is triggered it, triggered, it sends a signal on that channel. Meanwhile, we look down at the redrum and we see that it also has gate in and gate out for each of the channels in its instrument. So to connect these two, all we have to do is connect the gate out of the redrum with the gate in of the Kong. So here we have channel 2, gate out, and we connect it to channel 2, gate in. If I do that, and then press tab to go back to the front of the rack, I can mute the redrum so I don't hear it triggered. And when I run the sequencer, I can see that the Kong is actually being played. You can see it graphically indicate that it's being triggered. If I play with the pitch of the bass drum or any of these parameters, you can hear it changing in real time. So that's the basics of connecting the redrum drum sequencer to the Kong drum designer. You can connect more of the channels if you want, as many up to the 10 of the redrum. Um, you can also do things like create a CV splitter and remove the default routing there and then you could possibly have let's say track 5 of channel 5 of the redrum trigger channels 5 6 7 and 8 of the Kong so when I play channel 5 here all of these samples get triggered. That's kind of neat. 
oh this one's inverted so it doesn't it doesn't uh actually trigger it if you wanted more you could just route this one into that and then route that there and route this here it's kind of getting messy but you know you should play with it and have fun with it and now it should trigger all of them there we go so that's kind of cool so that's it for this tutorial from Make Digital Music Now. If you have any questions or comments, please post them on YouTube in the comments section. And I'll see you next time.